I'm Mike Toombs, and I will be giving you a preview of each of the games from the 2001 Glenbard West Hilltopper football season. Hello, and I'm Dave Knipfer, and I'll be bringing you the player's perspective. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing your 2001 Glenbard West Hilltoppers. Number one, Anthony Reiner. Number two, Marshall Hubbard. Number three, Blake McDonald. Number four, John. Over. Number five, Patrick Coonan. Number six, Ricky Chomich. Number eight, Dave Nipper. Number ten, Dave Majeski. Number fourteen, Chad Coleman. Number sixteen. Tim Connelly. Number 19, Dave Kurtz. Number 20, Eric Cal. Number 21, Ben McBurney. Number 23, Kevin Doyle. Number 24, Rob Cleary. Number 28, Tyler Crookston. <laughs> Number 30, Desmond Watt. Number 32, Ian Knapp. Number 40, Palmer Hart. Number 44, Matt McAndrew. Number 51, Nick Whalen. Number 52, Eric Marsh. Number 53, Bill Kelbot. Number 60, Mike Marin. Number 61, 
number 62, Chris Wilkes. Number 65, Mike Regalunas. Number 67, Mark Millette. Number 68, Jim David. Number 70, Sean Carter. Number 71, Chuck Hurst. Number 72, Fred Pruder. Number 73, Matt McDonald. Number 74, Kevin Birnbaum. Number 75, Pat Jensen. Number 77, Todd Long. Number 78, Rob Pearson. Run, run, Number 79, Dan Harris. Number 80, Shea Maroney. Number 81, Ryan Toombs. Number 63, Elaine Aquino. Number 64, Matt Doubler. Number 66, Dave Ennitzberger. Number 83, Adam Marie. We met our traditional rival, Wheaton Warrenville South, at historic Red Grange Field. It was the final season opener for retiring coach John Thorne, who had brought home four state titles to Wheaton Warrenville South. Our defense held Wheaton Warrenville to 16 points, and Rob Cleary had an outstanding performance with 24 tackles. Dave, what was the practice like the week before? We have been anticipating this game since summer camp, Mike. Their football team is a dynasty, and every team in our program wants to beat them. Beating Wheaton Warrenville South was our motivation throughout triple sessions. Unfortunately, the game was really rainy, which took away our passing game, giving Wheaton Warrenville South the edge.
Ben McBurney's 46-yard field goal put the Hilltoppers in the lead against the high-octane Proviso East offense. It helped fire up our offense for a 43-16 victory on a picture-perfect day at Dushan Field. You know, Dave, I just love football games here at Dushan, don't you? Oh, yeah, Mike. I can't, I can't tell you how exciting it was to play on Dushan Field. Many of the team has watched football games here since they were little kids and always anticipated growing up and playing Glenbard West football on Dushan Field. The marching down the field with the band, with all eyes upon you, our halftime show, ringing the victory bell, oh, yeah. are old memories that I will always cherish about Glenbard West football. Our win over Proviso East was the first win of the season and a great confidence builder. Western Suburban Conference opener, and Eric Calve had an electrifying 78-yard fourth-quarter touchdown run. Mike, Eric really had a great game. York is always a huge rival. We were really excited about our running game coming together. Overall, we just dominated the Dukes, which gave us a lot of confidence going into our next week of practice. <laughs> 